Welcome back. Today I'm going to do a book haul. Um, I have been gone for a while, so I'm so, so sorry. I know it's been uh, almost a whole week, and I've never gone a whole week without doing YouTube videos. So, actually, it hasn't been a whole week. It's almost going to be if I didn't upload anything for you guys today. But I asked you guys um, a while ago if you guys wanted for me to do a book haul. Um, I went to Barnes & Noble, and I bought so many books on self-help and motivational books uh, because that's what I love to read. That's what I enjoy reading or listening to in audiobooks. Um, and I'm not really into mysteries or fictional or um, uh, like novels and stuff like that. That's not really my thing. So I have a bookshelf and it's full of a bunch of very spiritual, motivational, self-help books. So I'm really happy about my collection because those books have really changed my life. And I want to share them with you guys. I want to share what I have learned. I also want to share what I buy with you guys. And they have really made such a big difference in my life since I started to really get into all of these self-help books. So I discovered the Law of Attraction about three and a half years ago. And one of my friends in fashion school, we were taking a uh, drawing class together and that's where I met her. She was actually one of my viewers and we became really good friends. Um, and she told me about the Law of Attraction. She told me about the movie The Secret. And she's like, there's this amazing clip on YouTube. Um, from the movie The Secret and it's this 22 minute clip three and a half years ago. Now if you have Netflix you can watch the whole movie for free on Netflix um, but or not for free $7.99 whatever your monthly subscription but um, yeah after I saw that 22 minute clip on YouTube I was like what? I'm like this is a whole new way of thinking of living of reacting to circumstances, of achieving your dreams, of getting what you want. And I, I was so in love with that 22 minute clip video and I was so like, like, wow, this is amazing. I went home and I bought the movie from iTunes because I really wanted to see it. I didn't have Netflix then and I bought the movie from um, iTunes. I watched it, I took a lot of notes and I started to implement all of those things into my day to day life. And I started to visualize certain things. I wanted to test it out with something. So one of the things that I first tested tested the law of attraction with was something materialistic because I wanted to see if it actually happens, if I could really envision something and it coming forth. Um, and I envisioned the car of my dreams and I envisioned it exactly how I wanted it. I saw my fingers grabbing onto the, to the wood grain from the steering wheel and not long after, I would say maybe like six to eight months after, I was able to buy that car and it was just crazy because all the things that I have in my life, like the happiness and the, the family and, and the career and all of these great things that are happening to me are because of the law of attraction and the law of attraction of course for me is God and it's giving thanks to Him for all the blessings and being grateful. Um, loving people, showing love, appreciation, uh, forgiving people. Um, and that's really what it's all about, guys. So after I discovered that, I, of course, bought the books and I started to get really into, like, what other books are out there? I want to read um, some other books from some... I became obsessed with Rhonda Byrne because... It was just amazing. Like she really explained everything really well, and it was really easy books to read, so really fun. I bought all of her books: Secret, uh, The Power, um, Hero, which is the newest book. Um, all of her books. I have them all, and I bought them all in Spanish as well, and I gave them to my family because I'm like, you guys have to hear about this, and you know, it's stuff that I've always heard growing up. But when you become an adult and you start to actually read these things and see them actually happening in your life that's a big change and that's a big difference and then you really start to believe so when you start to believe that's when the magic happens that's why I always tell my sisters and everybody else like that I feel really connected with like never limit your dreams to what you think that's as far as you're gonna go always go above and beyond and dream about the unthinkable because that's what you're going to bring into your life talking about spiritual stuff I'm always looking for ways to enhance myself um, in a spiritual way because 
I've, as I feel like the older that I'm getting, I'm starting to realize the things that truly, truly, truly matter in life and what right, what life is really made out of and why we are here on earth and what our purpose is. And I'm trying to discover, discover myself because there's such a different way of living life than what we really experience, you know what I mean? Like there's more to life than this physical world that we have. For the most part, um, I'm a true believer in the spirit world. So I got this book from uh, by Sylvia Brown, and it's a book about contacting your spirit guide. I don't know if you guys have ever felt this, but sometimes I sit in a room, like if I'm sitting quietly somewhere, I start to feel like I like I'm trapped inside of my body like I just want to get out like like I feel like my spirit wants to like get out of my body that's why I feel like this what I have here like when I die this is gonna rot this is gonna turn to ashes or it's gonna you know worms are gonna eat it this is not gonna last my body's not gonna last but my spirit I can't see how my spirit inside can just die and and just like blatantly blank out and it nothing you know what I mean so I feel like now that I'm getting older I really want to try and and connect with myself and really get to know myself because sometimes you think you know yourself but you really don't I thought I knew myself but I'm getting to know myself and the more that I connect with my inner spirit and my inner child and and me like when I'm, I feel like sometimes I'm trapped in here that's that's what that's where the beauty comes, you know? But anyways, um, so I got this book, and this is, um, you know, this book is really cool because I started to read it, and it started to really, you know, I started to feel like I'm not ready to discover who my spirit guide is. Now, you know, it's very detailed. It says, like, chapter one, what is a spirit guide? Many people are bewildered when it comes to what a spirit guide is. I understand this confusion because each of us has angels, our loved ones who have passed before us to the other side, and ghosts who are souls who haven't made it to the other side and feel like they are still alive. Um, she has her own spirit guide and she has this really great quote in the back that's directly from her spirit guide and she named her spirit guide Francine and she's actually seen them. So she says that in this book, she really helps you connect with your spirit guide who helps you guide you through life. And um, she said some really interesting things in here because she said at some point when you start to meditate and all that, you can actually get contact your spirit guide. Um, and this kind of scared me a little bit because I'm not sure if I really want to see who my spirit guide is yet. I feel like I would be really afraid. Um, so... I'm not too sure, like, I'm going to continue to read this book, but I don't feel like I'm necessarily ready for, for that yet, you know what I mean? And she said also a beautiful thing that I saw here, she says that her spirit guide, and a lot of them are around the age of 30, because that's like our highest peak, that's when, you know, we blossom into the people that we're supposed to be, and, um... She said that a lot of the spirit guides are around the age of 30 and we grow old. We can grow all the way up to, you know, whatever age, 120, 120 years. But our spirit guide will always remain 30 years of age. And when we die, we we look like we're 30. I mean, this is just what, you know, something from her book. Um, but, yeah, I'm really interested though, guys. Like, I am just trying to figure out different ways to, to see life, you know, because I have been seeing life in a su in such a different way now that that this really appeals to me and it feels amazing when you can actually go through a spiritual awakening which I feel like I'm going through I, I seriously I, I feel it you know sometimes I, I feel like I see things not scary things but I feel like I, I, I see energy with my own eyes and it's just crazy so um, the next book that I got it's called uh, the Reiki Healing Bible. Now, this one is from by Janet Green, and it says, "Transmit healing energy through your hands to achieve deep relaxation, inner peace, and total well-being." 
Now this is something that I mentioned before that I was interested in learning more about. And the reason I'm interested in doing this is again, it all comes down to the factor of just exploring who I am and exploring life and, and what life is really about. And one of my friends told me about this and it really piqued an interest in me because I wonder what it's like to have hands that actually heal people, you know? Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's a spiritual thing. Um, it all comes down to God eventually, obviously. But it's really awesome to know that even if, like, if you have a loved one that's not feeling well, you can send them positive vibes that, even if they're far away, that could potentially heal them. You know, and it gives you so many great pictures here, like step by step on how to do all of this. And it also has a lot to do with the chakras. And I actually got this other book called The Wheels of Life, um, the classic guide to the chakra system. Now, this is something totally new to me as well. Um, but I'm trying to see how like meditation and all of these different elements, these are all like you know, using our energy and using what we have inside to feel better and to have a happier life and to live a happier life. Be and who wouldn't want that, you know? If there's a way that you can feel better, why not? For me, also, it's not necessarily about, like, desperately looking for a way to feel better or be happier. It's, for, it's looking for ways to maintain that happiness, to keep it, to to be at peace with who you are, to be comfortable. All of these books and the type of things that I'm learning have really helped my self-confidence. I am not the same person that I was when I first started YouTube, obviously. And I see myself and I, I shock myself with the kind of growth that I'm experiencing. And it has a lot to do with the kind of books that I'm reading and the kind of things that I'm implementing in my life and the knowledge, all of these different things. And that's why I wanna share them with you, you know, because they have really helped me out and I, I really hope that they help you out too if you do need them. Um, uh, let's see, I open it up to this one. This is the sixth chakra, Anjna. It says, I create my own reality. All experiences that I come into contact with are, re are a reflection of my own projected thoughts and emotions. I develop my inner senses. I am open to new ideas and spiritual concepts. My intellectual mind recognizes my intuitive perception. There's no way that can be negative, guys. And I'm, I just keep saying that because sometimes these kind of things throw people off to the wrong end and they feel like they want to throw religion into this and stuff so yeah so this is the book that i got and then i have meditation for dummies i got the basic third edition because i i meditate sometimes but i really want to learn how to properly meditate and get a hold of my thoughts it says learn how to explore effective meditation techniques Develop your own meditation practice. Uh, meditate for stress reduction, spiritual growth, and enhanced health and well-being. That's one of my biggest goals this year is to really enhance my spiritual growth, which is why I'm really getting into all of these different things. So my friend Kara, she came over to my house a while ago, not too long ago, maybe like three, four weeks ago, and she really opened up my mind to a whole new way of life. Uh, I am a very, I'm a spiritual person, but I am nowhere near the spiritual level that she's on. And that really inspired me to go out and buy all of these books because we had a really nice conversation and she was so awesome. She says she can see my aura and the color that it is. And I, and you know, she meditates a lot and she's really connected with herself and she just looks very happy and she is very happy. And she really inspired me because I was stuck at a level of, not knowing that you know you have the chakra system and the the crystals that can help you um, heal and the healing hands and all these different elements and you know the spirit guide and all of this she was on a whole new level of spiritual awareness that really inspired me so that's why i went out and i bought all of this um because i was like wow i'm like that's so awesome that you can that you can live life like that you know and um, she gave me a crystal and I cherish it with all of my heart. I actually keep it here in my pouch. And I have this crystal that she gave me, um, a quartz crystal. And she told me all about it. And I went out and I bought this book called Crystals to Empower You. 
um, by Judy Hall. It says, use crystals and the law of attraction to manifest abundance, well-being, and happiness. Um, and this is a really great book for $19.99. You get so many pictures and it explains what all of these crystals are and what they do and the kind of energy they hold because crystals are a natural thing from Mother Nature. They have so much energy inside of them to really heal your life and, you know, if you're really stressed out to de-stress yourself and you know if you have any kind of issue from like a back pain or any kind of issue like that like crystals are so powerful uh, you really do have to do a lot of research on this before you go full on into using crystals though because I feel like with any of these subjects you have to be well educated in them before you start to practice them so awesome guys so I am so excited look at this isn't this awesome? Using the crystals and the energy they contain, creating a visual board, which goes in hand with the book that I just recommended in my last um, monthly favorites. And it just shows you step by step how to do it, how to connect with your chakra system, which is here. And these, all these books here, they all just tie in together. And for me, this is like, wow, you know, it's this is a whole new way of life. Like, I, you guys might be like, girl, I've already knew that, but to me, this is something that I just started to discover. Now, the last book that I wanted to show you guys is May Cost Miracles. Uh, this is from by Gabriel Bernstein, a 40-day guidebook of subtle shifts for radical change and unlimited happiness. She believes that simple, consistent changes in our lives, in our thinking and action, can lead to the miraculous in all aspects of our daily lives, including our relationships, finances, bodies, and self-image, all of which ultimately will lead to breathtaking lives of abundance, acceptance, appreciation, and happiness. Now, this is something that I actually, I, I wanted to read it because I wanted to see her take on this, and it's also a New York Times bestseller, so I really wanted to see her point of view. Um, I already lived my life as for like, like in this book, and I also live my life through creative visualization, and this book is about just creating what you want um, maybe like in a like in a mood board exactly what you want to every little single tiny detail what you want in your life and looking at that board and visualizing your dreams visualizing what you want and achieving it and it comes to you and I'm telling you that it works because I visualized the car of my dreams three and a half years ago or whenever it was and it came to me and when I visualized it I thought I'm like wow is this can, can this really happen can I really obtain that kind of car and, and it did and that's when I was like whoa you know I was blown away and I started to visualize tiny little things as well and not only materialistic things guys so don't get caught up in the material stuff because material stuff this when we die who who's gonna have it you can't take it with you you know that's why I'm so disconnected with my personal things and sometimes that's why I feel like I don't even enjoy shopping like I used to anymore myself and and everything that I have you have to enjoy what you really love which is the people that love you the people that you love the things that make you happy that's why I appreciate drawing and painting and a family time which is the most important thing in my life and the thing that I enjoy the most and the thing that distresses me when I am with my family just in a peace quiet nature space I am at my happiest and that's where I clear my mind and I reconnect with myself material stuff doesn't work for me it used to back then and you know what it didn't even work for me back then before when I was trying to find the real happiness it's because I wasn't connected with myself and I didn't know myself and guys I can tell you this goes back maybe over a year ago you know when I started this change it was in August of 2013 last year when I turned 26 when I had that moment in my life where everything in my life was so bad and I hadn't felt that way since my high school days. Ever since then, I started to see life in a whole different way. And I started to really find ways that, what makes me happy? You know, what are the things that I really love? <clears throat> and that's when I started to see a change in, in, in my life, even in a, in a more drastic way. In a way that actually makes me happy. And a lot of you guys have told me that you can actually see that through my videos as well. And I feel like because now I'm not caught, caught up in this material world, you know? I'm not trying to buy, like, compete with the latest handbag. I'm not trying to, like, 
that stuff does not appeal to me. You know what makes me really happy? Is going to Ralph's and getting those sandwiches that they make, like freshly made, not the ones that are packaged, but the ones like behind the counter. Uh, getting some picnic food and going out to like a park, not like a playground park, but like the Malibu Creek Park, you know, like the mountain camping area where you're like, where you see deer uh, right by where you're eating and stuff. Seeing nature, smelling the air, feeling the energy, and seeing my son and being with my husband, with my family, those are the things that make me happy. So if I'm not working, that's what I'd rather be doing. I'm not trying, that's why also I feel like I, I don't even want friends anymore at this point because if the, like I'm working so much that the free time, I don't want to be spending that free time with the people that don't really love me, you know, that don't care about me, that are probably going to be two-faced to me. I'm not saying about all of the people that I know, obviously, but, you know, I have, like, I can count my friends in, like, one hand. You know, my real true friends, I can count them in one hand, and those are the people that I really love, and I count them as family. Um, and, and yeah, guys, that's what really brings happiness and joy to the things that I do, and I've been enjoying life a lot more, and I've, I've been so much more happier, and... It's all with connecting with who I am. That really have helped me. And I want to see how the crystals and learning the chakra system and maybe the Reiki healing hands, maybe once I get through the book, I want to see how they affect my life in a different way. And this is just all about sharing my spiritual journey with you guys as well. And I know it's something so personal because I don't like to discuss religion or, you know, things that are very touchy-touchy because people really go crazy and out of, they, I mean, you know, if you don't believe in what they believe, then, then you're wrong, basically, is what it is with that. But regardless of what people say, I chose to share this information with you because if it helps one person, if it makes them happier, if they get what they want in every aspect of their lives, even if it's just one person, that's all that matters to me, you know? I'm not looking for a big world, world change or anything like that. But just sharing what works with me and that's why I decided to share this regardless of any kind of comments or or feedback that I get on this this is what I believe in and you know what works for me and my family so uh, thank you guys so much for watching this and I hope you guys enjoyed my book haul um, if I do any more book hauls they're all gonna be like self-help motivational books so so yeah, you know what else? Feng Shui. That's something else that I want to, I need to get a book on that. Um, and Feng Shui is about like, you know, the energy and how it flows into your life and adjusting certain things in your house and like certain colors and stuff. So you can let the energy flow. That's why when you have a cluttered room or a cluttered space, the positive energy can't flow because it's like, it's like blocked, you know? Thank you so much for watching and I know it's a long video, I just have a lot to say when it comes to this, um, and if you don't have anything nice to say, the best thing that you can do for yourself is to keep those comments to yourself, and and think some positive thoughts if you feel like you have to say something negative, because trust me, you're not hurting me, you're just hurting yourself when you say mean things to other people, so, but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later, bye!